The Phil Hendry Show will begin at six minutes past the hour on the premier radio networks. And America will be listening. Phil Hendry is probably the most creative person to be on the radio in decades. Phil Hendry Show. And welcome to our program. We He's on the air and on the edge. It's maverick. It's outrageous. One of major fan Gary Oldman's favorite characters is on Phil's show this hour. Bobby Dooley heads a parents association, and she's furious over one form of campus violence. It's great. The parents are now, there's now violence with the parents. Bobby's twisted take on this is that popular school athletes are staying home in protest because they're being stopped from beating up on the weaker kids. Bobby Dooley is on the line from her home in Western Estates. Bobby, is one of your kids the kids that are staying home? Uh, at this time, yes. All right. Well, some of the kids... Does your boy do this? Has he... He headlocked one of the uh, sophomores and gave him a, a good-natured noogie. The guest <laughs> quickly shifts from outrage to outrageous. These kids who are the dorks and the nerds and the ones that are bringing these guns to school are the ones that should consider it an honor to have themselves stuffed into a shopping cart or whatever. If the guest sounds like she's reveling in the ridiculous, she's meant to be. For Bobby Dooley and all the others exist only in the voice and mind of this master of audio illusion. How many characters do you have? About 25. And who are the favorites? I like doing uh, Bobby Dooley. I guess now you got me angry. Are you happy? Phil, we are trying to save our children. Great, let's save our children. And While the lightning they, uh, quick back and forth is just Phil talking to himself. No, I'm not, I'm not familiar. I'm... They're really a pain. All the callers are real, but only the ones who don't get it get on. All of it is bullying, and nobody has a right. So in other words, you're saying it's all right for these children to bring guns to school? If I didn't know what was going on, I, I think I'd get as irate as, as all those saps. The saps that call in? Yeah, all the saps that call in. Let me ask you this. The characters began popping out of Phil's head about 10 years ago during a gig at a small station in Ventura. Weak-minded woman. We treat them as real people. We try to give them a real life, and we try to give them a reality that the audience buys, and uh, sometimes they do. He, you know, sucks a lot of people in every day oh, no with, the, with, with those characters. No I, question. I'm a huge fan of his. He's like an actor, but it's, it's more, it's, he's also a writer and he's upstairs, writing okay? spontaneously yeah. and it's all well, live <laughs> and I think how, how, I have to like, well how, how talented do you have to be to do that um, I think you have to have a certain kind of genius to do that which is why I'm such a huge fan you don't know about these he's an illusionist they're really a pain it's like a magician right. it's a magic act now, you seem to have a lot of celebrity uh, fans yeah Sick bastards. <laughs> you know. Finding Phil's fans out on the street is a snap. What kind of people do you think listen to this guy? I think people that are bored with traditional talk show, talk radio. How did you know he's all the voices? Good, Someone told me. Oh, so you didn't... He might not be. Who knows? <laughs> we know, because Phil gave us an exclusive view from the planning with producers Mike Schaefer and Melissa Morgan it's all good. to the performance. Uh, Mike, Melissa... Are the producers there? Oh, shut up. I'm the one that talks to them, not you. Engineer Craig Taylor offers written prompts. All my boys have 22 caliber uh, rifles. Oh, you know what? I'm hanging up on you, Bobby. How dare you? You're really... Phil's daring oh, L.A.-based yeah, show sure. is carried by nearly 90 oh, stations. Do you ever have to rein him in? Um, you don't rein uh, Phil Hendry in. Um, you push him to be absolutely hilarious and... Um, uh, just to get to new creative heights. I have to listen to him, because he made me up. He invented my voice. He invented my art, didn't he? Yeah, he invented me too, that's right. We are not real people. Phil Henry invented us. Yeah, I feel that's racist. I think most people get it. I don't think most people get it. Actually, I know. In Los Angeles, about 8 out of 10 people who listen to him get it. What a moron. Nationally, it's probably the reverse. It's probably 8 out of 10 people don't get it. What Phil really gets is just when a bit runs dry. Here, fake author Brad Rifkin gets the hook. It's good luck, Mr. Rifkin, with uh, whatever it is you're doing. You're hanging up on me and everybody else is a motor mouth. That's right. Phil Henry Show. For now, it's good night to the lunatic guest, hoodwinked callers, and always amazed fans. The quick voice change, if it is indeed him. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> and you can uh, catch Phil Hendry and his cast of characters every weeknight from 7 to 10 on KFI. That is, of course, 640 on the AM dial. I was among those hoodwinked listeners. You bought into it. Well, I, I heard it in passing once. I, what?
This is crazy. It got a little ticked, didn't it? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's nope. an amazing talent, it really is. That explains it. Fun to watch. Yeah, it was.